Okay, I'm gonna arm the spoilers. I thought it was good. And I'm gonna go full flaps. Full flaps. Still within range. Uh, you wanna pull? You wanna climb? You wanna reduce your rate of descent? You're very low. Level off right now. Just scroll the vertical speed up. Okay. I thought it was following the uh, approach mode down. Oh uh, no! It's it's it was locked in. Okay. All right, autopilot coming off. My airplane. Oh, autopilot. Disconnect. My airplane. It's okay. Gears down. If we got full flaps, autopilot is off. We can take off this. Uh, I can keep the auto throttle in though. Yes, you can keep it in. Hold altitude until you're intercepting the glide. Yeah, I can do that. That was my that was my bad. But but in the real world or in the real simulation world, sometimes people are going to accidentally hit their heading bug. <laughs> I should probably pull up a little bit, huh? Uh, you're you're way far away from the runway, so yeah, level off. You're supposed to say that in a different tone, though, so I don't feel so. Uh, I'm your, I'm your student. I need you to build confidence. Say, um, let's let's go ahead and pull up a little bit and level off. <laughs> <laughs> tone is everything to a student. Confidence, baby. Sure. All right, if I you see. You were my student. I fail you. Ah, that's true. I deserve to be failed nah. okay we're gonna slightly do a course correction here all right get your landing rate guesses in now gentlemen anything else i need to do prior to landing i've been cleared to land yeah you're clear to land okay build confidence that ship is sailed oh thanks b2 <laughs> it's important for now right now to line up with the runway and not with the taxiway that is very han solo like advice that's what he admit he agrees with that. I'm coming in a little bit. Oh, so that magenta square, is that where my profile yes. is? That's oh. the vertical deviation profile. Oh, from the cool. Area. That is so cool. I love that. All right, let's stay above here a little bit. 100 above. You do a Harrison Ford. If you want to have Raz yelling, yelling at you, sure, go ahead. Okay, go we're, on, taxiway landing. we're on the profile. That's <laughs> This is awesome. Hand flying is good anyway, right? Sure, good practice. Okay, we're a, a little, little high though. A little bit high. Speed's and good. About seven degrees snows up is what it's going to need for the for a good break for a good flare. Okay, five, look at five look at, degrees at least. Look at the end of the runway. Yes, exactly. It's going to be a little bit of a floater. Dang it! Ah, uh, I might go around. Retard. Yeah, that was a little bit of a long landing. I also had a frame rate hit, but toggle reversers, toggle reversers coming in. There we go. Yeah, 405. Who get Who guessed 405? That was Yeah, we'll do better on the next one. Brakes are hot. We wanted to go full length anyway. I do need to load the Mr. X uh, runway textures again. Oh, you don't have them? Flare now, John. I know, I was late in that flare. I used to have them, but for some reason, I think when I updated X Planet, I didn't have it uh, keep them. If you, yeah, you need to keep, keep click keep uh, for, the, for the file. I may, I may, ev I'm, sometimes my ideology is occasionally I think you know what maybe they've improved the texture so I'm gonna see what happens with the new beta <laughs> and then, by the way this is this uh, this is stock scenery uh, I think so no. I don't know I have mr. X trees HD beacon okay. oh, beacon can be on strobes can come off 
Nav lights can stay on. Taxi yes. lights, runway turnoff lights on. We'll start the APU. We'll clean up, clean up, clean up. Probably been a while since the 320 has seen this end of the runway. Yeah. And this is why John uses medium auto brake. <laughs> <laughs> that is indeed the case. All right. Parking brake can come off. Yeah, this this is Mr. Trees, uh, Mr. X Trees HD. It's they're really really good trees, and they're everywhere. They replace all of the default trees, and they are um, sixteen megabytes is all. Val dudes one. Did Val dudes go high? I don't blame him. <laughs> Mr. Tree sixteen or oh, 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 06, Mr. Trees oh, 06. not Mr. X. Mr. X Trees HD. I call him Mr. X Trees HD. But yeah, anyway. Full Toga says to call him Mr. Trees. Mr. Trees. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was a hard landing. Only, only, uh, yeah, well, we survived. 405. But. Yes, the rotaries under the lower ECAM function, they work the switching panel. There was the, a um, chat. I think part of my landing was also my nerves with the fact that Assert is in here. <laughs> Not to mention the 274 other people. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Yesterday, it's funny, um, Sasha, when I landed yesterday in Orlando, um, 108 feet per minute. Beautiful nice. landing. And on the first third of the runway. And then my second, my second uh, landing was in, um, where was my second landing? DCA, 148. With, nice. a, with at the beginning of the runway, then when I flew with you, it was five hundred. <laughs> Today's four hundred. So the goal of the next clearly, I'm I'm the cause for that. I, the I go, there is no correlation. Code. I was just trying to tell my virtual CFI that have faith that you don't have to ha go to your chiropractor every time that we fly together. <laughs> yeah, brake fan on. Sorry, brake fan on. I was late with that. Mr. Christmas Trees. <laughs> yeah. Andy I'm Black, glad, hello. I'm glad the chat kind of calmed itself down with the, <laughs> after the brief, uh, early release on the, on the store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DMB Bird uh, has a correction. He would like to clarify my statement. The 108 was auto land. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, the 108 was auto land, but the 148 was my landing. <laughs> and assert has words of wisdom. Yes, you should practice your landings by saving the state oh, when you're yes. on final approach. Yes. And then you can practice it as many oh, times as you want. That is such beautiful wisdom. I'm actually going to uh, assert, we're going to, we're going to test uh, a load of uh, a saved state back in cruise. Uh, but there's a first things. There's a couple of things I need to do first. This can't be default sin, default scenery. No, this is add-on. Uh, I can see an auto gate. Well, where did I get Tallahassee from? Must have got it from. It's freeware, I think. I just Possibly. hit something. I mean, it could be TDG, but yeah, I just hit something. Oh, stop. Yeah, you're right. It's it does. It's not Lego brick. You're right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. Uh, I'm going to start the joystick. Last qualifier for the joystick giveaway. You must be present to win this afternoon. Uh, if not loaded from the first attempt, completely load a few, few times. That should fix the state. What does he mean by that? I'm not sure. Load few times. Oh, if, he, okay, if try if to load it more than once, basically, I think is what he's saying. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to the raffle. Uh, you need to be present to win the joystick today. I'm giving away a VKB Gladiator Mark II joystick. You can get these on the org. They're $100, um, $99, I think, ninety nine ninety five. Uh, in a at, at 2 p.m. Eastern, between 2 and 3 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be drawing from the five people who, who qualified. Now, four of those people have already qualified. This is now the fifth qualifier. 
So it's a raffle, basically, folks. So you have to buy a raffle ticket. Okay, raffle tickets cost two snacks. You've been earning snacks as you've watched the stream. Go ahead and I'll start this up. And you can see here in the chat room, it says type ticket. Raffle is open. Can someone copy that for a later paste? Uh, control C. So if you buy tickets, you can buy each ticket is two snacks and you can buy up to 750 tickets. Yeah. So there you go. We're, that, that, that is now open for the joystick qualifier. We have four other people. And I'm really happy that we're going to give it away. Now, another disclaimer. If you live outside of the United States, you will have to pay for shipping and handling. And I have no idea how much that's going to cost. I'll have to figure out the shipping cost. The handling cost, maybe it'll cost you five snacks. All right, let's do a replay of that. Of That's really not great landing. That float, how shall we say? But assert makes a great point. Basically, I could have saved it like at this. No, not at that point. Well, I could have saved it at that point. We'll do it from this point. I could have saved it from back here or closer and then just practice my flares. So that's a, that's a, that's an that's an awesome point. I'm actually gonna yeah. Close. He flared just a little bit too early. I he flared, flared yeah. at, at like fifty to sixty feet. That's a little bit too early. You'd probably want to flare about thirty to forty feet, and yeah. then a little bit less. You flared a little bit too hard. I need to I need to bring back that Orlando karma that I landed perfectly. I guess it was just luck because it does take practice. Yes. Everything in life takes practice. Mm -hmm. In celebration of this awesome moment, I'm going to have some almond roca thins, dark chocolate. Almond roca thins. This landing is not brought to you by almond roca dark chocolate thins. Check the ticket settings. What do you mean? Oh, you're right. It's one snack. Or sorry, yeah, you're right. It's one ticket, one max. You're right. Hold on. I have to cancel. I'm sorry. Two snacks. Maximum of 750. Sorry, we have to start over. There we go. From the replay, you are so nicely lined up for a taxi while landing there. <laughs> yep. And right. in... in Worse lighting conditions, if, especially if you have the sun. Uh, this is looking east. So if it were like more early morning, you're looking at basically due east here. It's really hard to sort of be able to discern the runway, especially if you have like multiple parallel runways and taxiways. Yeah. yeah. The, in the sim, it's still a little bit too clear. In reality, early in the morning, the haze can be so bad and the, and the sun reflecting off the surfaces can be so bad that you're almost not able to see any markings on the runway at all. Mm. So in those cases, you pretty much have to go by feel. Or if you see a pappy, then you, you hope that the pappy is on the left of the runway and you didn't mess it up. Sometimes they put the pappy on the right. And then, then you can land on a taxiway or something. Then you pull a, pull a Harrison Ford. Yeah. But just so you guys know, you only lost one, one ticket, one snack with that faux pas of mine. You didn't lose more than one one snack, so don't don't be calling rigged. Ooh, I needed some crosswind correction, big time. Yeah, there was, there was. Uh, uh, it's hard to see that in the simulator, sometimes I think, but uh, I definitely needed to use some some left uh, rudder. Wet runway with the sun on it, reflection is bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's basically like looking at a mirror. Yeah. Did we touch down before the two lines on the runway? There's the two lines. Oh, we didn't. There's two lines. Oh, just after. And it was hard, but I had to get down. Or I was going around. Oh, no, you did touch down in the touchdown zone. That's what he was asking about. I thought I I'm missed looking. it just by a little bit. No, no, no. I'm, I'm 
I'm looking at the stream. The touchdown zone ends at where the center marks sort of end, okay. not where the, where the dashed center line, of course, but there's like uh, these thousand foot markers, and the touchdown zone ends at the last. Oh uh, yeah, I see marker. it. Okay, wow, I I've never noticed that before. I'm always concentrating on the double markers. Okay, cool. Yeah, make sure you guys get into the raffle again if you didn't get in before. It looks like it's working now. People are buying lots of raffle tickets. You might get this one, the Dirts. Yeah. Well, Dirts, you yeah, you qualified for the joystick giveaway as well, the Dirts. I'm not sure if you'll be here, though, you were saying. And we have Wing Flex. All right, we'll do a uh, just a runway view and then a tower view, and then we'll... And then we'll uh, go to that late, that uh, loaded state. All right, so ta runway view. Oh, that's the wrong one, runway. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on, give me the runway view. It thinks the taxiway is the runway. <laughs> All right. Now it's going to do it. Yep, there we go. Back up just a little bit. Back up just a little bit. There we go. Mm, I'd pay money to have this view in the real world inside of like a glass dome. Floaty float. Okay, I'm going to bring this back. And I want to do the last replay is going to be a tower view. And then I'm going to have a sip of coffee. What is my favorite 747? I don't fly a 747. So I guess my favorite is... I, well, I don't fly it, so I really can't comment. I'm assuming that the uh, SSG is better than the default, but that's just an assumption. The only heavy I fly is the um, is this, the Flight Factor 767. Yep. Even I, that thing has plenty of range for you to I barely made that touchdown your... zone. Yep. Even the 767 has plenty of range for e tops. Uh, no, I mean for satisfying most people's long range desires. It can fly for 13 hours straight, so. Yeah. yeah to be honest, I couldn't see myself sitting at the sim for that long. <laughs> I find that most people who do that, they just let it run at night, and I think that that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try the load state. So I'm going to come out of the replay, and we're going to come down to the EFB, and we're going to say, um, well, we'll let the gate come in first, okay, so the sim's not too compromised. We're going to load before Sinca. No guarantees, but let's try it. <laughs> 